Welcome to the June issue of the Trainer uh, video series. It's a series that we do every month in an effort to bring the expert advice on a variety of repair techniques to you, whether directly or indirectly. In the case of today, it's directly. I'm joined by Carl Schneider. Carl, how are you doing today? I'm doing good, Peter. How are you doing? Good. I appreciate you coming out and hanging out with me today. Carl, among other things, does training for ANSAID diagnostics, specifically five gas analysis. We want to talk to Carl a little bit about that today because five gas is something that is becoming a lost art, in, in my opinion. I know a lot of shops have an old machine that might be gathering dust in the corner, uh, but there's still a lot of valid uses for that equipment, and there's some improvements in the marketplace for that equipment that make it that much easier to use. So, Carl, let's start with the beginning. The use of five gas analysis back in the old days, primarily for drivability, right? Oh yeah, we use five gas quite often, uh, especially the onset of emission programs back then with OBD1. It was really uh, a have-to-have -to -have tool. I mean, you couldn't do uh, emission failures without it. Yeah, I mean, back in the, in the early days before OBD2 came along and, and we started doing the IM testing methods, you know, if you went through the state inspection process, you, you might remember the inspector coming around and sticking the probe up your tailpipe to make sure that you were within standards. And we use that as a diagnostic tool, right? Because uh, all of the elements in there, Carl, uh, are attributed to different uh, phases of combustion. You know, there could uh, a misfire will cause one thing, too much fuel will cause one thing. Change that ratio of gases, isn't that correct? Yeah, it is. It, it still applies, and that's the thing. Whatever goes in has to come out in some other format, and, and we can get a lot of diagnostic information from that five gas today on understanding in which direction to go, and what I mean by that is, is the vehicle running rich or is it running lean? It's a good starting point to know which direction to go with that particular vehicle that we'll work on. Yeah, but i got to ask you, Carl, I mean, catalytic converters have become extremely efficient in what they do. Uh, they have to work in a very narrow range in order to do what they do. Um, but I've seen cases where I know I had an oil burner, for example, and there's nothing coming out of the tailpipe. So how 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 is it different now to get those kind of readings with five gas? Tell us a little bit about what uh, I, I know. The ANSA tools has a very capable way of doing that. Why don't you tell me a little more about that? Well, that's the key point is what you're bringing up is we don't have the diagnostic power we had years ago. When a car burned oil or was burning rich, we had definite visual signs of a problem happening with the vehicle, where today we don't have that. So now what we have to do is use our tools and our knowledge in order to figure out what's exactly going on with the engine performance of the vehicle. And if we use the ANSED tool, we can get our gas readings out of the vehicle. We can plug them into a calculator in the ANSED calculator that we have, and we can get the readings of where we are on a basis called Lambda and figure out whether we're rich or lean with that particular vehicle. And it'll, it'll guide us down that path to figure out if we're rich or lean with the engine performance problem that we're going to be having with that particular engine. The catalytic converters, as you mentioned, are so efficient today uh, that they can almost burn off anything going through that exhaust system. And the end result out the tailpipe is virtually clean. Even if the vehicle burned a quart of oil in 1,000 miles, let's say, you probably won't notice any visual smoke, or if you do, very little, and the weather conditions have to be perfect for that to happen. So the five gas is, is extremely important to understand what goes into that engine has got to come out, maybe in a different format, but if we understand the format that it comes out, we can get a better idea of what's going on with that vehicle. Yeah, and I know that the answer, and correct me if I'm mistaken, but the answer actually has uh, the ability to help guide the troubleshooting process you know, based on the readings that it's taken when you use it properly. Isn't that, isn't that true? That's correct. Really all you got to do is plug the five gas analyzer in, get those readings, plug them into the ANSED calculator, and it will give you your most uh, common things that will happen with that particular vehicle. Um, vacuum leaks or, or, you know, certain things that might call a lean condition, you know, a plugged injector or so on. So it's really a big help guiding you down that path of where to start to look for a particular engine performance problem with the 5 gas and the ANSET analyzer. Yeah, I mean, it's like, it's hard enough today to keep track of all the nuances between manufacturers. It, it never hurts to have a cheat sheet, so to speak, with your equipment to help remind you of the possibilities that you need to investigate. Of course, not silver bullet, guys, just like any other testing method that we've discussed with you, it's still up to you to verify that that is indeed the cause before you just 
you know, throw a Band-Aid at it and hope it sticks. Uh, there's other uses that come to mind for the five gas. I mean, yeah, drivability emissions testing is certainly a big one, but because it has the capability to detect uh, CO2 and HCs, uh, what are some other things that you've seen commonly used applications for the five gas? Well, one of the things we used it a lot for, especially years ago, and even so today, is when you have a suspected head gasket problem, you know, drain the coolant down a little bit so you can insert the probe into the top of the radiator or the coolant tank. Of course, you don't want to get coolant into the five gas. That would be a bad day. Mm -hmm. However, if you insert that probe inside that radiator, it'll pick up hydrocarbons that are being released from the cylinders through the head gasket into the coolant system to be able to diagnose that. Uh, another use for that tool also is the EVAP systems. Uh, the new Smoke Wizard now uses CO2 cartridges on a smoke machine and you know smoke sometimes is difficult to see in certain locations but if we put CO2 into that uh, EVAP system and use our analyzer to detect CO2 levels we can use that to diagnose EVAP leaks. Uh, and then of course the AC system in the same manner we can inject CO2 into that air conditioning system and use the analyzer in the same fashion. And, the, and we're all talking about all kinds of systems here that uh, smaller leaks are the norm and have as much of an impact on these new highly efficient systems as they did, as big leaks did on the old ones that we dealt with just 10 years ago. Is there anything you would like to leave as a closing comment for those who are watching on why they should consider dusting off the one they have in the corner of their shop or investing in a piece of equipment like that for, uh, for their business? Well, I, I would like to add something. The guys that do have a five gas analyzer, you probably have them in the back of your shop covered with dust, and, and they probably ended up in the land for misfit tools somewhere. I don't know, but uh, a lot of these tools get purchased, and they're not cheap, and we let them sit in the back of our shop because we find this other tool that, that seems to have worked. But the more insurance you can have or the more information you can have when diagnosing a vehicle will add to um, your credibility and your diagnostic powers at the end. Uh, and, and also, if you're going to purchase a five gas, a few things to look for. Uh, some of the older ones were big and bulky. I have two of them from the years ago that are uh, very cumbersome to set up. Uh, like the ANSED, uh, you know, cane five gas analyzer, it's very easy to set up. A little plastic hose goes to the tailpipe. Um, uh, battery powered, so you don't have to worry about finding power to plug the uh, ANSED calculator in, or the ANSED uh, tool into the um, vehicle itself. It runs on battery for quite some time. And another thing that it has, which is a great feature, uh, is a auto calculate what it will do is auto store data every uh, 30 seconds 60 seconds whatever you decide without you doing anything so this will help you uh, when you're diagnosing you're driving down the road you can't reach over and push that button well if you know every 30 seconds or every 60 seconds it's going to record that data it's a big help to you when you're diagnosing that vehicle when you get back you can review all that data and then you can put it into the ANSED calculator and, and see what you have for readings when you drove that vehicle no, that makes a lot of sense. That's a very nice feature to have, especially if you need to test a variety of load and RPM conditions. Uh, again, Carl, thanks so much for taking the time to hang out with us and educate us on the use of five gas. Thank you, Peter. It was great to be on.